Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. We are in the latter times and our redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Job 19.25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in the latter end. Exodus 4, 8, family, and it shall come to pass if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign. And it's very clear, and it's not a coincidence that God made the first sign go through seven cities named Salem on August 21st, 2017. And it's not a coincidence that Jerusalem was first called Salem, and this was the first sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And again, August 21st, 2017, the first sign, the eclipse went through seven cities named Salem. And Jerusalem was first called Salem. And God has made it very clear and confirmed it over and over that the latter sign, the eclipse goes through seven cities named Nineveh in America and one city named Nineveh in Nova Scotia, Canada, which makes eight, like eight people on Noah's Ark. And the eclipse is on the eighth. April 8th, 4-8, and it shall come to pass if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign, the sign of Jonah, and the eclipse goes right through Jonah, Texas, and then Nineveh, Texas, right next to each other then Cross, Texas, then Groom, Texas, then Bride, Tennessee. This eclipse goes right between Groom, Texas and Bride, Tennessee, family, like the Bridegroom. And then it goes through a city named Elijah. And Elijah was raptured in a whirlwind. And then immediately after that, it goes through rapture in Deanna, right in the middle of the Tav. But here's where it gets beyond gigantinormous. Not only is it the sign of Jonah, it's a much bigger sign. And they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And I showed you all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. All the planets are lined up on this eclipse with all his signs. And they look like a ladder. But this is off the charts, what I'm about to show you. It's the most gigantinormous thing I've ever seen. All glory to our Father. Before the Romans, before the devil had the Romans start worshiping these false gods and naming these constellations after false gods like Aries and Pisces, when you go to sky cultures, the constellations, and you switch to the ancient Arabic stellarium of the constellations right here, the eclipse is in the latter constellation, family. It's right there. You can't make this up. This is Jesus Christ's design, God Almighty. And we've all been looking for the sign of Jacob's ladder. Well, you're looking at it right now. The ladder. And the ladder sign, the eclipse on 4-8, is on the ladder. And I'll start with Genesis 28-10. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted up upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed. And behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And I'll jump to verse 16. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place, 
This is none other but the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. And remember in the signs, house is right there. As you can see, house is right there. Right next to Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ. And remember, right at the top of the ladder, in the ancient Arabic stellarium, is flood. Right next to Venus is flood at the top of the ladder. And you already know what flood means. And when you look up the meaning of flood, the first noun is an overflowing of a large amount of water beyond the normal confines, especially over what is normally dry land. But look at the second meaning, an outpouring of tears or emotion, a flood of tears. But it gets way more gigantinormous. Not only is the constellation called the ladder where the eclipse happens, right next to it is the star, the asteroid, the minor planet, Bridges. And the Bible says that he that believes on Jesus shall not be confounded. 1 Peter 2, 6. And the Lord Jesus Christ is Jacob's ladder. John 1, 51. Jesus is our ladder to heaven. He is the entire ladder, rungs and all. And rung is there too, which means rungs. And it's actually pronounced runga, and it's right there, runga meaning. A German surname that derives from a word meaning staff. And when you look below that, in English, runga can also mean one of the bars or rods that form the steps of a ladder. And not only did Jesus Christ say in Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and runga, the steps of a ladder, right there in the signs in heaven. Not only that, Acts 2.19 says, and I will shew wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Well, there's only one place in the whole world named Runga. And it's Runga, Texas, right there in the path of the eclipse. Runga, steps of a ladder. And this sign starts out with Runga and then the next sign is Jonah, Texas. And I will shoot wonders in the heaven above. And the sign Runga is right there in the heavens next to the eclipse. The steps of the ladder. And signs in the earth beneath. Runga, the steps of a ladder. Right in the path of the eclipse, it starts out with Runga, the steps of the ladder. It's right there, the heavenly staircase. Jesus Christ, he is the one who bridges the gap between heaven and earth. It's all over the internet. It's right here. Christ, the ladder between heaven and earth. It bridges the gap between one place and another. In this case, Christ has bridged the gap between earth and heaven. He is the one who bridges the gap between heaven and earth. And I'll walk you through today's date with bridges all the way to the eclipse. And you could see it moving past the ladder. And there it is on the eclipse. Bridges right next to the comet. Ponds Brooks. And I'll take you back to the Western sky culture. And remember, Jesus Christ is Jacob's ladder. He bridges the gap between heaven and earth. And I'll take you to today's date and walk you through to the eclipse again. And as you can see, Bridges goes through the gap while the eclipse is being set up. Right there. It bridges the gap. Jesus Christ. He is the bridge. He is the ladder. From earth to heaven, family, that's where we're going. And Bridges is in the earth beneath. And the eclipse goes right through Bridges, Mississippi and Bridges, Ohio. 
Jesus declared himself to be more than a prophet, more than a rabbi, more than a political deliverer, and more than a king. He declared himself to be the bridge between heaven and earth, the link between God and man, the portal that God has opened on earth, giving us direct access to heavenly realms. And I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And he's coming to get us. And he bridged the gap. And he's Jacob's ladder. And we're about to be caught up. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. I showed you that spirit is right there next to the eclipse. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the... The latter times, some shall depart from the faith. So hold on to your faith, family, in Jesus Christ. Do not depart from the faith. Because we're about to go home to our Father's house. Where there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. They will believe the voice of the latter sign. Exodus 4, 8, family, and it shall come to pass if they will not believe thee nor hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And there's a lot more. And God willing, I'll be back. But I'll wrap it up with one more confirmation that this is the sign of Jonah. And this is the sign of Jacob's ladder. And we're going to heaven. And it's right there in the path of the eclipse. Jacob. So keep your heads up, family, and hold on to your faith in Jesus Christ because we're saved by grace through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast.